welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we're at Panera. Panera brought out some new stacked baguette, toasted baguettes. New stacked toasted baguettes. We got the chicken green goddess caprese melt. Okay, guys. I'm I was I contemplating on going back in there, but I'm not. We haven't ate yet, and we need to eat. And I'll explain why I contemplating going back and taking this back. So we got the sandwich, but we're missing the greens off of it. It's supposed to have basil and arugula on it, and we're gonna review it as it is, guys. We're gonna go with it. So let me show it to you. We got one. Me and Dad. I'm gonna cut it in half. This is what it looks like. It looks like a foot long. It's got smoked pulled chicken on this, tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, grated Parmesan cheese, zesty, sweet, pepidou peppers. It's supposed to have fresh basil and arugula. There's no green on here, guys. Um, green goddess dressing, garlic aioli, on a toasted French baguette. Now this thing is so big, I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna give dad half and we're gonna inspect mine a little closer. So let me cut this in half. And it is on a toasted baguette day, so it's gonna be a little tough to chew through. But we're going on flavor here. I'll give dad his half let him get started mm -hmm. let's inspect mine guys so like i said i'm a little bit perturbed there's no green on here no arugula there's tomatoes looks like plenty of mozzarella cheese there is like a dressing right there i see i'm not even sure if they put the green goddess dressing on here i see the pep pepidou peppers and the chicken and tomatoes guys I I'm annoyed okay I'm annoyed I'm having one of those days I got a little bit of a headache but we're gonna make the best of this we're gonna review it as we got it dad just got a big piece of cheese hanging <laughs> I've got it all over my jacket Okay, it does have like a, what are you looking for? Napkins? Okay, no. okay. All right there, brother. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It's a progressive vision loss. He can see light and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. His field of vision is super foggy. So he was hand grabbing for something. I didn't know what he was grabbing for. That's why I had to ask him. So it was napkins, but. <sighs> Okay. I actually do like the flavor of this. I just really wish it had the green stuff on it. The basil, the arugula. I think that would have gave us a little more herbal. I'm not even sure, like I said, if they put the green goddess on. I do taste like a garlicky dressing, like a mayo, don't you, Dad? No. Do you? Yeah. Tastes like a mayo dressing. Yeah, something. Yeah, I do. I'm not even sure they put the green goddess dressing on it. We're going to rate this, guys, the way we got it. We might have to try it again later and see if we can get the correct preparation. This is really letting me down. It really is because I wish we had it exactly the way it's supposed to be. The bread's toasted. I like those peppers, those, what do they call them, pepidou peppers or whatever. They got a little sweetness. They're kind of like a bell pepper. They have a little zest to them. Mm. 
what's making me irritated is this is a pretty decent sandwich the way it is right here but I think if it had everything on it I think it'd be that much better and the French bread is a little tough dad has dentures so he's having a little bit of time chewing through it but it seems like he's doing okay Here in Ohio, they're charging $12.99 for the full sandwich. And you get a bag of chips for free with it. So, I mean, we're sharing this. So, I mean, it's what, like $6.50 a piece. So, it's a little more reasonable if you share it. I'm going to take one more bite here. I like the chicken on this, okay? The chicken does have like that little bit of a smoky flavor to it. The mozzarella is really fresh. I know we have garlic aioli on it because I could taste that little bit yeah, of, that little bit of garlic. I don't think we got the green goddess sauce on it that we were supposed to have gotten on it. And I know we didn't get the greens, but we didn't get the basil. Or the arugula. I know, guys. I know you're hollering at me through the screen. Take it back, Penny. Take it back. Okay. We haven't ate anything yet. We ordered this online. I come and pick it up, you know, in premise to do a video, right? And like I said, we haven't ate. So it's just, it just didn't make sense to me to try to take it back in there and have it remade or have them throw arugula on it. It just didn't make sense to me today, so I am I, I got a little bit of a headache. I just didn't want to fight it, but this is what happens, right? So this is a real a real video. I mean, it's it's what happens every day, right? So you're getting it. You're getting the raw. This is this is how it is in life. Sometimes you don't get everything you want to get, and I'm not really super mad. I'm just more irritated. Mm -hmm. Partly because I got a headache. <laughs> but I'm going to let Dad keep enjoying his sandwich. But I'm going to ask him to think about what score he's going to give it, okay? I'm going to uh, explain our rating scale. A five or lower is that thing is garbage. Don't waste your money. Get something else. A six to a seven is it's, eh, we'd eat it. But we really wouldn't recommend it. Anything above a seven, we recommend the closer it gets to a 10, we highly recommend, guys. And we rarely give out 10s. We only give out 10s at special something that knocks our socks off. That thing that tastes so good, you can't imagine it tasting any better. That's a perfect 10. And not everything out here is a perfect 10. We're keeping it real with you guys. Our goal is to save you money. So we're telling you our truthful, honest opinions. We're not, you know, um, sponsored in any way. So this is our honest, un, unsugared opinion, okay? Uncoated, sugar-coated, how do you want to say it? Unsugar-coated, not sugar-coated. We're telling you our honest opinion. I think I made it very clear that I wish it had everything on it. And we might have to try it again and get one and hopefully it has everything on it next time. But without it not having everything on it i think it tastes pretty good <laughs> you think so too um, i don't i don't really know what it, you didn't have it. well it's just the arugula like le it's sort of like a lettuce like a peppery lettuce okay. and basil so okay. and then that green goddess sauce possibly it would have had more of a herbal taste to it maybe yeah. some basil maybe some it would have been a little creamier maybe with the dressing um, I just wish it had everything that it was supposed to have. So we're scoring it by what we got, okay? Without the green. <laughs> Didn't have any of the green on it. Um, I forget what I was going to say something. I was going to say something. I mean, I think the French bread was pretty fresh. You know, mm -hmm. it's crunchy. You know, like how French bread is supposed to be crunchy. It's got to chew. It was warm. 
the mozzarella cheese tasted good on it. That garlic aioli, you could definitely taste it. The chicken tasted pretty good. It has a, like a smoked chickeny flavor. I mean, it's pretty good. It's like rotisserie type chicken. Um, I'm trying to think of a score for you guys. I, the score I give is how we got it. I think if we got it the correct way, the score would be higher. Okay, I just want to put that out there. Hmm. I'm going to let Dad finish his thing there and then... Still thinking about the store, guys. Okay. Let him finish his bite and get him a drink and... Hmm. I got a question for you guys. If you were doing these reviews, okay, and you decided like me, you're not going to take the extra time, take it back in there and say, hey, it doesn't have this on it, whatever, and you were going to review it as you got it, would it be hard for you to give it a score knowing that there was supposed to be other stuff on the sandwich and your sandwich was missing that stuff? Would it be hard for you to give it a score? Okay. I just, I just got to, I, I just want to know. <sighs> Is there anything you'd like to say about that? It's sandwich? a very good sandwich. As we got it, yes. As we got it. Okay. And uh, I'm sure that my daughter knows what's missing, and uh, I, I believe that. Okay. Because this is the first time for me. Right. Yeah. This is bread. Oh. It's the bread, and everything. It's the first time for me. Yeah, that that French baguette type right. bread. Right. Yeah. I never heard of the name of the bread. You never heard of French baguette bread? No. It's a French crusty bread is what it means. You know, I'm sure there's some other fancy way of saying it, but it's usually like a crunchy, chewy, a crunchy bread. So. Everything they had in the chicken it was sandwich was good. Yeah. It was seasoning good. Uh, everything was there, there was good. But it's hard to it's hard to know that there's something missing. Yeah, but just give it a score. And you get a rating. I know. I, just give it a score, cause see, guys, I can read this stuff and I can see what's on it. But if had I just handed the hand, sandwich to Dad said and told him what I saw on it, he wouldn't know that there was something no, missing, right? I so know. I just need. We just want your honest score with how you tasted that sandwich there, not thinking about you know what's missing or whatever. But I need your honest score. What you tasted there? How, what would I your score would, be? I would add, uh, give it a nine. A nine? Nine. Okay. okay. I had to, it was a good sandwich. It had a good flavor to you. It was a good flavor. And Gar it, like a garlic it, mayo. Took a little bit uh, chew. to chew yeah. and uh, eat it. Yeah. But it was good. It had a good flavor. It, was, it, went, okay. it went with it good. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to know that uh, I, I agree with the daughter about, so, about the being, stuff being yeah. off. So, like I said, that's a difference of opinions, right? Or a difference of prospect, or how, how do I say that? How you perceive something. So, Dad is blind. So, had he not known what was on it, and I told him it was chicken, mozzarella, garlic, mm. mayo, that's why I wanted him to give it the score that it tastes. It did taste good, and I agree with his score, okay? But here's my thing, guys. I know what I've read and what I've seen is what's supposed to be on this sandwich we did not get, okay? So, what I tasted is definitely, it, it's, it's, it tasted good, okay? So I'm going to tell you, as far as taste-wise, what we got, I would say it's at least an 8. At least. Okay, a solid 8. So anyway, so yeah, I just wish it had the greens and stuff that it was supposed to have on it. The basil, the arugula, the green goddess dressing I don't think was there. All I could taste was garlic aioli, like a garlic mayo. The chicken tasted good. I think if it had the other stuff on it, 
I think I would be on board with Dad's Nine because I feel like that would have gave it that herbal, extra herbal flavor that I think it needed, okay? So other than that, I think it's a good sandwich. I would recommend it. I would just say check your stuff before you take it home. My thing is I ordered it right and you go into the quick rapid pickup and you pick up your bag and I brought it to the car and we're doing our video, right? So I just didn't feel... And plus we had eight you know what I mean so I didn't want to take it back in there wait for them to make another one you know sometimes you ain't got that kind of time okay I'm sorry it that's what happens that's that's life and uh, yes I'm aggravated about it but I mean I had lunch I am full so I'm not it's too mad at least I ate my lunch and it was okay I and, it was edible. A bit of it. and it was very edible okay <laughs> it's just that it didn't get it the way I wanted to so I guess that this leads to another video. Hopefully we can get it again and get all the stuff on it and do another video for you guys. If you would like to see that, please leave that in the comments below. If you would like to see a redemption video of this, then we can do that. It's, it's just it is what it is, right? Yeah, it, it is, is what it is. What it is. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow, not let stuff make you mad, you know, just, yeah. what's that old saying? One of my friends used to say, just say, Musa. Musa, let it out, let it out, it's okay, it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the world. Okay, yeah, you've already let these guys yes, go. Yes, I am. Okay, guys, we hope you all had a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys, God bless. Come back tomorrow, see what we're eating, see what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Let's hope it's prepared correctly. <laughs> Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.